Right of his professional career. Oh, left hand goes in. And Dunyushi is in trouble. Oh, lovely right from Tyson Fury in again. Brad Hook's got him. In the world of professional boxing, there are stories that inspire, tales of relentless determination, and journeys that capture the essence of a true champion's rise. And if he can keep that punch working, oh, there it is. Yes. Fury and Rogan is down. Dedicate not allowed a touch that I thought he is touch. He has to get in there and stop it. One such story begins with a young, towering heavyweight boxer named Tyson Fury, whose early victories inside the ring not only marked the start of an exceptional career, but hinted at the emergence of a future world champion. Tyson Fury's professional boxing career began with a bang as he faced Bela Gyeong Yossi in his debut fight. At this stage, Fury was just 20 years old and was eager to make a name for himself in the sport. The fight took place at the National Ice Center in Nottingham, United Kingdom. Fury, known for his imposing height and reach, was pitted against a less experienced opponent. From the opening bell, it was evident that Fury possessed superior boxing skills and power. Very rarely see a guy of his size, his stature working good on school. Good body shots from Fury. He wasted no time in asserting his dominance, utilizing his jab and hooks effectively. Within the first round, Fury unleashed a barrage of punches, and Young Yossi couldn't withstand the onslaught. Fight of his professional career. Oh, left hand goes in. Olympics, and that is something he is annoyed about. And Howard Foster says no more. And Fury has started with a first round victory. The referee stepped in to stop the fight, declaring Fury the winner by TKO in the first round. This victory marked the beginning of Tyson Fury's professional journey. It showcased his potential as a force to be reckoned with in the heavyweight division. Although the opponent wasn't of the highest caliber, the win allowed Fury to gain valuable experience and build confidence as he embarked on his path to becoming a world champion. In their first fight, but this is a good onslaught. Good body shots from Fury. ...to finish this. Little one, two, one to the head, and then look where he looks for the body shot. Winner tonight in his professional boxing debut, Tyson. Just two weeks after his debut victory, Tyson Fury returned to the ring to face Marcel Zeller. This fight took place at the York Hall in London, UK. Zeller, a German boxer, had more experience than Fury's previous opponent, but Fury was determined to maintain his winning streak. I look to take the easy way out. That's a good quality uppercut, really good right hand from Fury. Tyson is putting a lot into these. Once again, Fury's size and reach advantage were evident. He used his jab effectively to keep Zeller at bay and landed powerful combinations. And Zeller's suggesting he's not being hurt. Fury's just got to be careful that he doesn't punch himself out. It will take his toll if he can't maintain it. Oh, it's a good left hand. It's all over, I think. Zeller tried to mount some offense, but found it challenging to get past Fury's reach. In the second round, Fury landed a series of devastating punches, and the referee intervened, stopping the fight and awarding Fury another TKO victory. Kilt came up a bit there. Now the referee's got to be having a look here. Howard Foster is poised. Zeller complaining that was low, and it's been stopped. It's been stopped by the referee. This win showcased Fury's ability to adapt to different opponents and solidified his status as a rising star in the heavyweight division. It also demonstrated his rapid progression in the professional ranks, with two wins in just a few weeks. Gloves came down and he said, oh, come on, what's going on? And then, with one more blow landed, the fight is all over. Winner, Tyson Fury! In his third professional bout, Tyson Fury faced Daniel Parrott, a Ukrainian boxer with a modest record. The fight took place at the Robin Park Arena in Wigan, UK. By this point, Fury was gaining attention for his exciting fighting style and knockout power. But 
this is all Tyson Fury has to do. Keep it out there, just keep it long. He hurt, hurt him, he's hurt him, Duke. And he's backing away now. I don't think he wants too much more. Fury continued to display his boxing skills in this matchup. He employed a mix of head and body shots, gradually breaking down Parrot defense. It was another impressive performance by Fury, and he secured the win with a TKO in the fourth round. Boxer. They've been in against fellas like this. One of them was low, Parrot. Oh, that was a good shot, that left hook. He yeah, said no more. Worry. And the fight is over. This victory extended Fury's undefeated streak and reinforced his reputation as a heavyweight prospect worth watching. Fans and experts began to take notice of his potential to become a future world champion. Boxer. They've been in against fellas like this six minutes or so ago. Except that he's now got three wins instead of two. Your winner and still undefeated, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury's fourth professional bout saw him facing Lee Swaby, a seasoned British boxer with more experience than Fury's previous opponents. The fight took place at the York Hall in London. Fury's strategy for this fight was to maintain his distance and use his reach advantage effectively. Work, Fury. It is good hand speed by Fury. Those are good body shots. Swaby feeling the power of those. Be for the first time having his own measure of success. The pack comes for your He demonstrated improved defensive skills, evading Swabi's punches while landing precise counterattacks. As the rounds progressed, Fury's confidence grew, and he started to impose his will on Swabi. That was a good body shot there by, by Fury. It's also a big shot there, and he's stopped in his tracks with a right hand. In the third round, Fury unleashed a series of powerful punches that left Swaby struggling to defend himself. The referee stepped in, signaling the end of the fight and awarding Fury another TKO victory. Looking for that left hand, but it's thrown with more of an air of desperation than it was earlier on. Yep, the fight's over. Lee Swaby's had enough, and Tyson Fury has won the fight. This win marked a significant step up in competition for Fury, as Swaby was a more experienced opponent. It showcased Fury's ability to handle tougher challenges and adapt his strategy accordingly. Great style here against the Lee Swaby, the toughest one, I would think, the toughest professional fight of his career. Knew that the man was just about all in after that fourth round. Tyson Fury's fifth professional bout saw him facing Matthew Ellis, a British boxer known for his durability. The fight took place at the Leisure Centre in Stafford, UK. Fury continued to build on his previous successes, displaying his boxing IQ and versatility. Heavyweight division in this country, and Fury trying to show that he's the best of them. Take Fury's best punches, and that's the result. He controlled the distance and pace of the fight, using his jab and footwork to set up his combinations. Ellis proved to be a tough opponent, absorbing some of Fury's best shots. However, Fury's relentless pressure paid off, and in the first round, he landed a powerful combination that sent Ellis to the canvas. Round. If you're going to walk into the firing line, you're going to get nailed on you like this. It's crazy. I think the idea was if I put him down onto the back foot. Although Ellis managed to beat the count, the referee deemed him unfit to continue giving Tyson Fury his fifth consecutive professional victory, this time by TKO in the first round. This win highlighted Fury's ability to finish fights early and showcased his out power, which would become a hallmark of his career. Well, and uh, I say 49 seconds and it's done and dust. Uh, it was uh, furious. Tyson Fury, Matthew Ellis outclassed. Your winner by count out and still undefeated, Tyson Fury. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos.